A couple weeks ago we exposed some VMS here, we found samples in the road, high grade lead, silver, zinc, some gold, and you can see obviously some of the uh, remnants of the VMS here. And uh, we chipped those samples off of here. You can see the the rock there. It's basically disseminated throughout this. We're actually trying to find the larger source. We found veins up to about 14 inches in size. So this is probably on the outskirts here where we're looking at. Even on the outskirts, samples like this, you can see with Galena, um, showed pretty high for zinc and lead and some silver just found another piece of the bedrock we chipped off over here and uh, take a look at this here so that is pretty interesting to me that looks like calcopyrite and uh, pyrite in there but might not be. Some nice looking mineralization there. So we've pulled more samples from the outcrop behind me. You can see some intense pyrotization with some sphalerite in there. Little bands of galena and sphalerite. So this is pretty mineralized. I'd say we're going to have an okay grade for some uh, lead and zinc for sure and some silver. Just in these samples here. And this isn't even part of the veining. I'd have to say based on the amount of mineralization though. Um, we're probably pretty close to within 10 meters. Take a look here. Sample I just chipped off here. You can see there's obvious VMS there as well. Galena and Sphalerite, look at this. Massive sulfides, very high grade, and take a look at this. I think there's multiple veins, probably connect and uh, meet some bigger. And this stuff is exposed in the road in various areas over, I'd say, 75 meters. Just look at how gorgeous that is. That is some very nice solid ore. That is some high grade ore right there. If you thought that was high grade ore, look at this. All these pieces. Look at that. That's about a six inch wide vein right here. This thing right here is your vein. This is awesome. Really, really nice looking. All right, so what we've exposed so far, your host rock all over here, which has disseminated galena, sphalerite, pyrite, about to right there, over to just past where my hammer is, we've exposed mostly solid ore in the center and 
over here. This is just solid sphalerite and galena. And over here, it's a little bit more disseminated, but it's still uh, part of the de deteriorated vein. Now we're just walking along the road. We're about 350 meters away, looking for more samples. Any signs of other mineralization? We're coming across another area where you can see oxidization and pyrotization. Some chip samples off a little piece over here. You can see solid iron sulfides following some quartz here. Take a look at this. This is a really nice sample. Probably going to be a little bit of copper sulfides in there too. A little sphalerite as well. So again, another sample that's pretty good. Chip off a boulder underneath here and we are about a hundred meters away from that lost sample. We found a few in that lost area, but uh, decided to move on and now we are on to some more nice ones. On the edge of a creek here, we're finding some samples which are showing signs of copper mineralization. You have calcopyrite and pyrite, malachite staining, Definite calco there. Pyrotization, epidotization. You have a very silicous rock here with lots of pyrite. And the second sample was also similar. Again, very silicous with loads of disseminated iron pyrite. Found another zone here near that last uh, hunk of calco. You can see, look at the gorgeous looking calco pyrite and pyrite. Very, very nice looking. Not a lot exposed in the road here, but this is bedrock and we found it in four spots now, four separate small little veins. So that's some really nice looking mineralization. All this right here is calcopyrite, all of this, pieces here, more there, more in the road, more here, and we've got some more hunks here, and I hammered a couple pieces from there. So about a 10 meter wide area with decent mineralization, more samples here. Looks like there's actually some sphalerite in these ones. Other side of the road, finding something interesting as well here. You can see oxidization all over this rock and you can see heavy pyrotization. Let's break this open, see what it looks like. So basically just a solid mass of iron pyrite. Pretty decent. 
basically just a chunk of iron sulfides. Look at that. The whole thing is one giant boulder. See this here? Got to be 70, 80, 90 pounds, this thing, just for this small boulder. Anyway, getting late. We'll be continuing on here in a couple days. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.